What's happening everyone? Jay Shockblast here and check it out. We have Marvel Ultra Alliance 3 Curse of the Vampire available now. Uh, this actually launched a little bit early. I uh, did not know when it would launch. Uh, it was supposed to come out on the 30th. It came out on the 29th, which is great. And it's added a bunch of new stuff. There's actually an expansion section of the game. You can go through the update history here. So the update has happened for the uh, the Curse of the Vampire DLC. Uh, new playable heroes, Blade, Moon Knight, Punisher, and Morbius. Uh, test your skills and endurance in the new Gauntlet mode. The new Nightmare mode has been added. Uh, you can get a taste of Gauntlet mode. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, shield Depot menu is added. Exchange shield tokens earned in the new modes for items, voice lines, etc. New outfits for seven heroes. A new hexagon has been added. You can now reset the enhancements for each hexagon. Uh, level cap raised to 150. Apparently this is the free update available for everybody. Uh, the voice lines were added. Special effects were added. New effects were added to those that enhance ISO 8. Uh, NPC conversations during co-op play have been adjusted. And you cannot play multiplayer unless you do the update. So keep that in mind so we'll go right back into here and you go back and forth between the main menu and the expansion menu if we go back to main menu which i thought i was doing before yeah you can see there's an option now for expansion everything else once you get inside the expansion section is the same so essentially gauntlet mode you go into here this is how you're going to unlock your characters um i'm not going to do this right now but you know you can basically uh, run through this. Uh, I'll have some videos on it tomorrow. I believe the first character you unlock is Punisher. There's no actual story though. I thought there was going to be like an extra like chapter, which is a little disappointing uh, for DLC expansion one. Um, then there's Gauntlet. I think that's where I was just in. Sorry. It's late. It's like one in the morning. Um, there's Nightmare Mode, which basically you're going to play through and I, I made this video before. And it did not record any audio, so um, you play through nightmare mode, and it's basically like a change in the story. Uh, the characters act differently and look differently. They're they've been cursed by the vampire, as they say. So here's what I think everybody's gonna be most excited about: Shield Depot. You're gonna own, earn tokens uh, in which you can unlock different things for different characters. Um, there's also ability orbs you can buy, enhancement points, all this stuff. What's that with gold? A void spear. You can buy these with gold. Here's ability to the original. Ooh, interesting. Um, actually, <laughs> we want to go back in here. Because Captain America, Iron Man, they have new costumes. So there's a super soldier. That's kind of cool. I love his shield. Iron Man has his extremist costume. There's also different vo uh, voice lines and whatnot. That almost made a dent. You remind me of my board members, but less scary. That lasted about as long as my last few dates. Yeah. Look, Cap, a battle we can finally agree on. Keep swinging that magic hammer, Goldilocks. So there you go. Um, Hawkeye does not. The Black Panther has one. Thrice blessed. So we've seen this uh, costume in quite a few games. Uh, who else? Here's this one shocking to me. All right. Red Hulk alternate color. Why not just have a regular Red Hulk? Why is he wearing the gladiator armor? This makes no sense to me. The costumes cost 400 tokens. Also, Ultimate Thor. I don't know how quickly you get tokens, but hopefully you can buy the costumes uh, pretty quickly. I like this more than doing the uh, Infinity. I wonder. Here's a weird one. Miss Marvel alternate color. Don't really understand the point of this. I. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if this has ever actually been a costume that she's worn. Um, I heard a rumor that there's a uh, Spider-Man.
costume, like Iron Spider, the OG one. I can't confirm myself yet, obviously. I'm just loading for the first-ish time. And I think that's it. I didn't count seven there, so there must be some secret ones. Um, what I will say is, you know, in an, in an earlier version of this video that recorded no voice, um, I was not able to see anything really different in team or hero select, so I'm going to skip that. Actually, we'll go into hero select in a second. Under alliance enhancements, this is what it was talking about as far as the extra row. So you can actually go up into here now, and each one has another hexagon on top of the one that already existed. So you can further enhance, and that is basically what's going to happen as you get new characters leveled up. Now with the level cap 150, like this one's 170. Increased durability by 100, so. Um, but yeah, you get the point there, so. Uh, and then actually under Hero Select, you'll see a whole new row. Look at that. So, uh, oops, did not mean to do that, but whatever. Uh, so you can see there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 15 new character slots. Now, not all of them are the four here. Um, I don't know. I heard there is also a rumor that there's a secret character that you maybe unlock. Probably for beating the game on uh, Nightmare. Or maybe it's uh, in Gauntlet. So we'll see. Uh, I'll have uh, lots of videos today slash tomorrow. Or whenever, if you're watching this down the road. Um, but the big point is, the DLC is available now. So just do an update on your Nintendo Switch and you should be good to go. So uh, look forward to lots of videos soon. I hope you enjoyed.